Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. I'm Chris. I'm currently in Missouri. I got here on Sunday and it was raining all day. So nothing really happened on Sunday other than I got here. I did go out in the rain and check my stands that are in back of Bart's house and set up a couple cameras, made a couple mock scrapes because there was no sign back there, which is odd because there's usually some kind of scrape or rub activity back there. Then uh, Monday morning I went back and sat. I had two does and a buck fawn, button buck, come in and they came from the opposite direction from what I would have expected. Now I'm not really trying to shoot a doe, but they were close, real close at one point. So then last night I tried to go out on the public land. First place I went to, I hope you can hear with the wind, it's pretty strong, wind's pretty strong today. There was a guy parked where I was gonna park. So. I did not go that way. I went to another area, walked around the perimeter of a field, no planting or anything, no ag. Really wasn't any sign. So I was running out of time. I just picked up and went somewhere else. Had a little doe come in. I'm guessing it was a doe fawn, but a little doe. So that was nice to go into public land and actually get onto something, because she got really close to me. I could have shot her. <laughs> she was little. She would have been easy to carry out in one shot, that's for sure. Quarter her up on the spot and take her out. But while I was out on the public land, I missed this nice buck walk by both stands. This time stamp is off because it was set up for Mountain Standard Time, not Central Daylight Time. This morning, I was out back of Bart's house, and three bucks went by. Two of them stayed out of range, and one of them came in in the dark before legal. So I could barely see him. I really couldn't see what his rack was. So I have had bucks slip me in that same spot multiple times over the years. So today, I put a climber out there. After I got out of the stand later in the morning, I went back out with a climber and put a climber. So those bucks are skirting me at about 60 yards from that one tree stand. So then what I did was I put a tree stand or a, the climber about 25 yards on the other side of where those bucks have been walking. So the idea is in the morning, I go there. If they repeat that same path, because all three bucks started on that path. It's just the one in the dark came close to me. So the idea being I'm back there and I'm set to shoot them. And then when the sun rises, it'll actually be at my back, which wouldn't hurt a thing. And in that climber, I'm actually up probably another few feet higher than my tree stand. Right now, I am on Bart's place, his hunting property. He's got some bucks coming in to this area in front of a camera. And they are coming in early so it's not even two o'clock right now 1400 and uh, I'm gonna go back in there see if I can't find a place on the ground set up here with my turkey chair see if I can't get onto something so we'll get quiet here might be able to walk down this there's an east-west ridge in front of me 
and I'm going to be on the south edge of it. Sometimes deer like to bed up on that ridge and with this much wind I might be able to walk right past them and not bump anything. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to find a spot to set up to shoot the spot in front of the camera. Because I don't know exactly how Bart has the camera hanging. You know, I don't know how it relates to everything. But if I can... It seems like the, the bucks we've seen coming into it, they're coming in from the right side from the camera. So when I get down there, I'll see the camera and then I'll know which way is right the right side and uh, I'll try to set up to where I can shoot and not set up on the spot they're actually trying to walk into and obviously got to play this wind it's pretty strong it's gonna stay pretty strong through the evening so we'll start creeping in here go easy despite my sweet setup the only thing I had come in is these four turkey hens they went left to right here, and a little later on, they went right to left and went back. But on the way home, I did see a doozy, and he's got some really good jumping ability because he jumps from down in the ditch over the fence. Real nice buck. The next morning, I'm in my climber like I talked about. I just happened to turn around and saw this guy coming. I gave him a pass. I think he was a little eight point. That night I'm in the lock on and I caught some movement so I turned on my cameras. And I've got this little buck comes in right to the scrape that I made. There has been a, a scrape there in the past and I usually augment it while I'm there but in this case I had to make the scrape because there was nothing there. He's at 27 yards at that scrape and he gets much closer. But he's safe, I'm not gonna shoot him. I'm just framing him up, getting a little practice of placing the crosshairs where I need to. And after an hour or so, I thought this squirrel was being goofy behind me. And then the squirrel actually moved off to my right behind me at about 4 or 5 o'clock. And there was still the noise right behind me. So I turned around and this guy comes walking right underneath me. This, I'm really sure, is the one I gave a pass in the morning to. Little 8 point. Now he's looking at this scrape down here and I did not make that scrape. That opened up sometime on Monday. He's further from me vertically than he is horizontally. He's pretty much under me. 
but I have also freshened up that scrape and spit on the branch he's looking at right now or he's he's licking right now so that technique works you can make your own scrapes especially if you got a spot that's historically had one go ahead and scrape it out with a stick pee in it and then carry the stick off with you so you don't leave uh, your stinky handprints all over the stick right next to the scrape and then it, with that little overhanging branch go ahead and just spit on it a few times and it may attract the deer I don't know if that'll work for big bucks but clearly it works for little guys I know as far as the video goes, it may be kind of boring, but I was just showing you some of the deer footage that I had. I had a good time there at Bart's in Missouri. I can resist shooting deer, which uh, is kind of a new thing for me. Normally, that little eight point would have, would have got one for sure. But anyway, just some deer footage, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down there, and as always, thanks for watching.